In the last video I made about gallium metal, which is a solid at room temperature, but turns into a liquid above 30 degrees C, I ended by making a mould of a padlock in plasticine and filling it with gallium to make a casting. Unfortunately, I didn't have quite enough gallium to fill the mould completely, but it didn't really matter. Once it set, I peeled it out of the plasticine, and this is what we got. Pretty cool, huh? It's actually come out really well, and you can see the letters nice and clearly. I wanted to see how hard gallium is, so I thought I'd try scratching it with this steel screwdriver. It actually is really hard. I was able to scratch it with the screwdriver, but not as deeply as I thought. Here are some of the filings. Next I wanted to see how brittle it is, so I thought I'd try hitting it with a hammer. I took it outside onto some concrete and it actually shattered with hardly any effort at all. I only tapped it a few times and it broke into all these little pieces. I thought it could be fun to try casting another padlock through the middle of this Haspen staple. So I flattened out the plasticine, stamped in my padlock again, and this time I put a slice in the mould here, so I could wrap it around the metal like this. I used a skewer to carefully smooth out the gap, and there's our mould complete. I put the broken pieces of gallium into this small pot and heated it up to melt, and I added a little more gallium. Once it was all molten, I sucked it up in this large syringe and squirted it into the mould. You can see how the metal flows all the way through the hole in the staple. Once it cooled down and became solid, I pulled all the plasticine off. And this is what we got. It doesn't look perfect, but it's not too bad. I thought it could be fun to fix it to this shed door and have a padlock that can't be opened with a key. So I wound in a couple of screws. And I was able to sneak in a couple on the other side too. The shed looks nice and secure, but there's no key for the lock. You could, of course, hit it off with a hammer, but for a bit of fun, I'm going to melt it off with a hairdryer. You can see the gallium dripping off as it melts. I had a bowl placed underneath to catch it all so I didn't waste any. And it didn't take long before it melted through, and the padlock fell off. And we can open the shed. I really like experimenting with gallium, and in my next video I'm going to be making some really cool Lego figures in this mould, and if you want to see how they turn out, keep a lookout for the video. I'll add a link in the description.